Good morning everyone, Nick Olint here with the wife Melly, and today is the largest and most crazy sandbar party of the entire year. It's called Cheeseburger in Paradise, um, used to be called Stranded Naked, and it's just a giant sandbar party they do here in the Abacos for charity. They do it every year some around the 4th of July. Today it just so happens to be on the 4th of July, and so it's going to be a wild one. Um, you guys have never seen a sandbar party like this. Stick along and I'm taking you with me. Just pull up to a friend's house to pick them up. And we're ready. Yeah, they have a little panga, and so they're going to follow us in the panga, but they also have a giant group. So I'm going to take some of them on this boat, um, and we're going to make, I think it's like a nine, nine mile trek over the sandbars. So it was not far. Um, it's going to be a good day. Let's go. All of these boats made the horrible decision to wait to fill up and fuel until the busiest day of the Bahamas boating season. They'll be here for hours. We are finally on the way to Fiddle Key to the Cheeseburger in Paradise party. You can see we ended up putting all of the women in our boat just so they didn't have to ride over to the party in a 20 foot panga, make it a little bit more comfortable for them. But we are so excited and ready to party. This big old storm is right between where we are and the party, but the only way to get there is to go straight through it. So looks like we're all gonna get a little bit wet. Let me tell you, this is a cold rain and when we're cruising 35 knots like we are, it is painful as well for everyone on the boat who's not stuffed behind the console like me, but I guess the boat's getting a free wash down. So there's always a positive. We finally made it to Fiddle Key. We got a great spot up here in the front and the way that this works is that there is a sandbar that comes out from the beach and all of the boats is wrapped up around the sandbar together and then once that first ring fills up, boats start anchoring out in front of them and it just becomes kind of a big free for all with anchoring. But this is our crew here on the boat. I think this accompanies about four boats that we had in our group. That individual right there with the hat on, his name is Jake. He's actually the one who owns that house that I was at earlier and he who owns the Panga. And we're here for the rest of the day just to have a great time. I'm gonna give y'all a walk around the party and kind of tell you how it works. And then I am going to um, give y'all a little bit of a, you know, promo, a little bit of B-roll action footage, a little edit of the party. That's my friend's little 20 foot Panga. And then if you look behind us here too, another one of our friends brought over this little beaver tail skiff that he has for bone fishing, tied it up to the back of the boat. That's another friend, CV. All in all, we had an awesome setup and we could not ask for the better start to our day. Made it in the water so I can just relax a little bit. You can see the Bahama looking absolutely gorgeous here. You can see all the mercuries down the row of boats at this party and in this part of the Bahamas, the mercury is far outweigh the Yamahas. And I think that's kind of the general trend in the center console market. But this is that beaver tail I was talking about. Um, and you can see in the background kind of what I'm talking about, how all the boats raft up around the sandbar. It's a really cool party and a really cool setup. A really cool part about this party and actually part of why it's called Cheeseburger in Paradise is that at the party, they have free cheeseburgers and they're Bubba burgers, they're very good. You get free cheeseburgers, free chips. You even get free drinks. I think they have vodka, rum, and tequila, if I'm not mistaken. So it's a really awesome thing. And then if you feel inclined to do so, which I highly recommend, they also sell all, the, all of their merchandise. You can donate, you can become a sponsor if you have a company. And then all of the proceeds for this, um, you know, fundraising party, go to the Green Turtle Key Foundation. And it's a great foundation that funds a lot of awesome stuff over on Green Turtle Key. And they raise hundreds of thousands of dollars at this party. So it's really a big deal and it goes, and it all goes to a good cause. Another look at the long lines to get a cheeseburger, but this is what the party's all about. So it's well worth the wait. It is absolutely piping hot today so it's really nice that while you wait in line you can sit in the water and cool off a little bit 
And just another look here at all of the boats wrapped it up around the sandbar. It really is a huge event with hundreds of boats that attend. It's really a sight to see. Finally made it to the front of the line and got that cheeseburger that I've been talking about. I've said it once in this video, but these burgers are actually extremely good for what they are. You know, they do hundreds of cheeseburgers here, but they grill them up awesome. Bubba Burger is a really good burger, and so you really can't ask for much else. We're going to finish eating here and then head on back to the boat to continue on the party. Walking back to the boat now, and I'm actually going to let this video play through just so y'all can see the sheer amount of boats that are rafted up in this super shallow sandbar. Um, if you think about the monetary value of all the boats sitting here, it is actually astounding. You know, each of these giant center consoles with quad motors cost, you know, a million bucks, more than a million bucks. So there is a ton of money all sitting on this sandbar on this day. So this is a site that I am sure is going to make it on the qualified captain. But believe it or not, all of the owners of these boats actually, I'm not gonna say they do so intentionally, but they know that this is gonna happen. On the northwest side of the sandbar here at Fiddle, at low tide, it gets super shallow just like this. I mean, it's probably a foot of water, you know, maybe a foot and a half. And so all the boats that anchor up on that side, they know exactly what's gonna happen. But luckily the way this party is, and it's been like this the last couple years, I don't know if it's planned this way or not, but high tide always, or low tide should I say, always happens to be somewhere around midday. And so the owners are happy to get there in the early morning at high tide, get the boat where they want it to be, and then just ride out the midday low tide with their boat sitting on the bottom. It's not bad for the boat. The hull can definitely take sitting on the bottom. You know, it's got plenty of support. It's got more support here than it would sitting on a boat lift. Um, and then, you know, later in the afternoon when the tide comes back up, that's when they'll leave. So it's, it might look like a mistake, but all of these people know exactly what they're doing and they know that this is gonna happen. So no alarms and there's no need to say these captains don't know what they're doing because they do. But that's enough talking and explaining for now. Let's go ahead and get on into the party. All right, everyone, it is 3 p.m. Melly and I, we've been at uh, Cheeseburger in Paradise last Strand and Naked since, what, 9.30, 9.45? Yeah. 9.45-ish a.m., and we are toasted. Uh, the rest of our friends are staying there and catching a ride back on another boat, but we've had enough. It's hot. There was a million people on the boat, which just freaks me out because I'm a, I'm a clean addict. The boat needs to be perfect. And so we're done. It was an amazing, amazing party this year. One of the best I've been to. 
Now we're just gonna go over to the Bahama Beach Club, anchor the boat up, and hang out with some quiet music this time. Just Melly and I, and then I think our friends are gonna come meet us, so come hang out with us at the beach. I will pick back up here in a second. As you can see here, even the big motor yachts come out for the party. Those are big 100 plus foot motor yachts. They have their slides out. Obviously they can't get as close to the sandbar as we can, but they're here to enjoy the party just the same. You can see here that our day just turned out to be absolutely amazing. The zero wind, the water is glass calm, it's blue skies. My beautiful wife here who is not American, but she's getting in the American spirit and we just could not ask for a better day. Running over the shallow sandbars that are kind of in the little cove area where the Treasure Key Beach is makes for some beautiful, beautiful water where you can see everything on the bottom when you're running over them. Made it to the beach and you can see there are a bunch of boats here that all probably left the party early like we did, but we're gonna get the boat anchored out and then I have a friend coming to hang out with us too. We had an amazing time at the beach. We didn't end up filming much of it because we were just hanging out and relaxing and my grandparents actually ended up coming out to hang out with us as well. It was a super good way to decompress after a long couple hours of that party. But you can see here the ride in from the beach is absolutely beautiful. We're getting in, it's, I don't know, probably 5, 5.30 right now, but we have 4th of July celebrations tonight because it's the 4th of July as well, so we're gonna go get showered and get ready for that. All right, we had a great, great afternoon at the beach. Well needed decompression after Cheeseburger in Paradise. We all um, no, I am fried beyond belief. I look like a lobster, but we have some friends came out and joined us. It's actually a client of mine who I sold a 34 Yellowfin to. Um, he came out and joined us with his boat, so it was nice, relaxing afternoon. Pulling back into the marina right now. Gonna go get showered then. Time for the 4th of July festivities dinner. to continue on. Grab some dinner, go to the bar, and party it up for America. Except in a foreign country, which is strange. But party it up for America. Yay! <laughs> I think that God clearly loves the United States of America for giving us such a beautiful evening to celebrate the 4th of July on. This is the Bahama Beach Club where they do the big 4th of July party here and it's going to be an awesome time. They have all of the decorations out, beads, lays, all the good stuff. They even have put food coloring in the pina coladas to make them red and blue which is pretty awesome. And just another look at how perfect of an evening it is tonight. This is called a Junkanoo, and it's a thing they do in the Bahamas for big celebrations. For Bahamian Independence Day, they do it. For American Independence Day, they do it. Anytime there's a celebration, they do this thing that's called a Junkanoo. It's kind of like a mini carnival, if you're familiar with that in Brazil. They all dress up, they have instruments, there's dancing, there's playing the instruments. It's just a really good time. I'm gonna let this keep on playing so you guys can see kind of what Junkanoo is all about. Of course, you cannot have the 4th of July without fireworks, and the Bahamas is really strict on fireworks. You know, you or I, we cannot go and set off our own fireworks over there. They just don't allow it. And so the Bahama Beach Club, they do their own big fireworks show that is approved by the Bahamians, and they have professionals come on and do it. And it's just a really good time, and it's an awesome way to cap off an awesome day. All right, everyone, it's late. It's almost midnight. We're exhausted. Um, we just went to a, fam a friend's house after our 4th of July dinner to see if anything was going on. Um, but they're all exhausted um, because of um, Stranded Naked, day. Cheeseburger Paradise. It was a long freaking day. So we're going to get some rest, get some sleep. I hope you like this video. So we'll call my name. Anyways. Anyways. <laughs> I hope you like this video. If you did, go ahead and like it. Comment on it what you guys want to see. Anything Subscribe. about the Bahamas. Subscribe to the channel. That helps big time. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you.